Good morning. Sorry, I just thought there was something wrong with my camera, but it's actually the pattern of the clouds behind. Yeah, so I thought something was cracked. Anyway, morning guys. Um, we're on a roof clean today. Well, sorry, I am on a roof clean today. Um, so yeah, this is quite a challenging one. So let me turn you around. So it's a fairly uh, straightforward roof if access was better. But let me show you. So you've got this little bit here, which that bit faces the driveway of the neighbour. So there's no getting around it. There's going to go. There's going to be mess on his driveway. The um, customer has not, while I was standing there, and the neighbour is very, very reasonable and very, um, very uh, happy to move his car, um, and he's completely fine with everything as long as obviously I clear it up, which of course I will do. So it's the reason this is quite awkward is because I'm going to have to take the scaffold up and down multiple times. So it's going to be one of those. Oh, I wish I had a, a cherry picker, but hey. Okay. So this this side here, I'm going to have to put my scaffold along there. That's going to be really tight. Um, I'm then going to have to. Well, I mean, look, this, this, this is not actually the order I'm going to go in. Um, I think I'm going to start here, clean that bit there, take the scaffold down, move around here, go up there. There's a flat roof there, so I'm going to have to put half of it up there, half the scaffold up there, clean this section, take it down, back along here, so back along here, there is a little spot here where the meat tower can sit. So it's brilliant about meat towers, they can fit in tiny little spaces. So yeah, that's where I'll just take the bins out, fit the meat tower here, do that little bit of roof up there, along there. Take the scaffold down again because it won't fit through there. There's no way. So as you can see, like I said, it's a really awkward one for scaffold towers, but um so yeah, the scaffold tower back down again. So the Porsche um, is actually uh, out of action. I think the battery's dead. And uh, the customer's hurt his foot. So it's gonna be very difficult. Well, he's, he's, it's in plaster, it's got it's all wrapped up. So he's not gonna be able to move that, which is no problem. So I'm just gonna put the scaffold tower there. And get that bit, that bit, and that bit. I'm just wondering actually if I put the scaffold tower here and reach over to do that bit instead of having to put it there take it down and come back over here do you know what I mean yeah I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do so it'll just literally be a movement from there to there but at least I won't have to take the scaffold down yeah that's exactly what I'm gonna do right brilliant so and then I'm going to do this side last. Windy today. So all of that would have been done there. So then I'm going to have to take the scaffold down, get it up on this flat roof here, which is theirs. Um, and then clean all of this. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's the plan of attack. Come and join me and see how I get on. Okay, so we'll start bringing the scaffold around. Uh, just thought I should make a point. You're probably looking around thinking, oh, it's a bit of a tip. They haven't lived here for very long and uh, they're renovating the inside and out. So uh, yes, it's understandable that it's a little bit messy around the gardens and stuff, but uh, it's a work in progress. So don't judge them too much. They don't live like this. It's purely, um, they've got a lot of work going on. So I'm just part of that. Uh, process so anyway uh, I'm gonna set you up and you can watch me bring the scaffold around Thank you. 
right, let's just get this little bit done. It's literally gonna to take about 10 minutes. Okay, so as we see, there's a load of um, not spots, but black blobs. That is black spot lichen, basically. Um, so, put some hypo on there. Those tiles will cut up a tree. I think these are very similar. In fact, I think they're exactly the same as a as the tiles I did on a roof cleaning uh, video. I did. I think it was when I first started doing YouTube, about three years ago. Um, yeah, these are going to come up absolutely beautiful. Right, that looks lovely from down on the ground. And I still ain't treated it yet. Just give me a look. Yeah, really nice. Okay, so gonna get the ladder which is around there and I'm gonna put it here and then I'm gonna get a couple of sections up stick my scaffold on there, no problem at all. Uh, I've never seen a skylight like that before. It's just a piece of glass. I mean, look, it looks like it's been done properly, but uh, I've never seen one without a border before, like a frame. Super, super careful. Even the slightest crack or knock on that, that'll crack. Ah, okay. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Do I? I could just stand here and wash it. I don't know. Or do I get the scaffold tower up? Hmm. I'm going to think about it. We're going back. Right, so I'm going to put some wood across the top of it. And then I'm going to get two levels of the scaffold and straddle it across one side to the other. careful here I guarantee you that bit of glass there is probably worth about six or seven hundred pounds at least okay so the wind's really picking up today absolutely making this an absolute nightmare so hey ho we, tra we travel we carry on um right so it's actually worked in my favour there's a bit of a building sort of around here because I'd have actually gone home and got some got a bit of sheet and got some um, plywood to cover this glass up 
So I've had a good look around. I found some old, really thick, old protective plastic sheeting. Looks in all right condition. It's a little bit dirty, but it'll do the job. It's absolutely fine. And some old bits of uh, sort of plywood. So yeah, that's covered up there. It's just this little section here. There's the corner. I think that'll be fine because my main concern is because sometimes you will come across crack tiles that are stuck together with all the moss. This side's really mossy, as you can see. And all it takes is one little tile to go tumbling down, crack on there. Six, seven hundred pounds, please, Nick. Replace our glass skylight. That'd be a nightmare. So, well worth doing this. Highly unlikely anything's gonna drop there, but do you know what? I'm gonna go and look for another bit of wood because it is just my luck that something would. But anyway, that's good enough. I'm happy with that. Um, I'm gonna go and get the scaffold over here. I don't particularly want to be standing. The only way I can get a good angle to reach all of it is if I'm standing right here on that corner. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing, just one wrong move, one step back, I'm falling down there. So if I put the scaffold tower here, just up one section, at least I'm contained within the scaffold tower. I'm not going anywhere. Much safer. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. So let's do it. Okay, so update. Uh, I've just tried to get these two sections of the scaffold tower up. Because I'm going to put one section there one section there and have the sort of platform level going across like that but this platform would be here but obviously then the supports down here but the the literally the tolerance between the two so the side where it's positioned literally we're talking a couple of mil and there was a couple of mil that side so when i'm standing on that scaffold I mean the scaffold doesn't stay rock solid it wobbles slightly even just by two or three mil if that wobbles two or three mil towards the actual glass it could crack it i'm just not taking the risk so I have to stand here on the edge and wash from here it's perfectly doable i just don't like looking up when i'm cleaning I prefer to be, I much prefer to be up above it, looking directly in line with it or above it. I really don't like looking up it. But it is doable and I can do it that way, so that's just the way I'm going to have to do it. Anyway, that's covered now. The only little gap is that bit there. So, uh, yeah. That's good enough. Right, let's get, uh, let's get the lance over. And get this washed so i'm ready to go standing on that roof that flat roof over there i've taken the uh, scaffold away and put it over there for now um so i can't mount i've got nowhere to mount my um camera for you to watch me do it so i'm just going to mount it here and i'll zoom in on the edit when I edit this footage down. So, I'm mounting about here. Actually, no. Let's get the scaffold up. And you can watch from here.
to get this roof treated. So without further ado, let's do that. There's the roof, let's crack on. So, I've moved the scaffold, I'm round the sort of side, front stroke corner. Um, so this bit is what I'm doing, to, well, this is what I would like to get done. So I should have this done within maybe, I don't know, a couple of hours. So that bit there, that bit there, that bit there, that bit there. And I'm sure I'll have enough time to get this bit here. It's just so fiddly. Um, trying to get this position has been an absolute nightmare. Try, making sure that it's nice and secure and it's not wobbling too much. Um, that's taken me what feels like forever, but I feel happy and secure now, so um, time to get on with it anyway. Right, let's do it.
uh, yeah, move the scaffold over. All that's done. So all that side, there's done. That side done. That side done. That side done as well. Oh, that little bit's done. So let's get this bit here done, and that'll be me done for today. Well, that slot. It's not so bad. I mean, that's. Uh, you know me, I'm, I'm, I literally have piles and piles of it, so that's actually quite a, a mild pile of slop. Uh, anyway, let's get this last bit done, it's about half two. And it'll be getting dark, I mean it's getting dark later and later these days. The closer we get to spring again, but it still gets dark by what, half four quarter of five. So I'm always fighting the fighting the, the light. It's looking okay. Definitely needs a hard mode for that would bring that up so much nicer. Uh, can't see any cracked tiles. Looks to be in pretty good condition. Apologies for the video just cutting out on the last bit up there. Um, battery ran out. I thought I'm not getting down to get another battery just for that last little bit. Um, so yeah, that's clean. It's all clean. So everything's clean I wanted to get done today. Um, so I've had a good wash down. God, the mess was quite bad on this one. It was everywhere um, but actually look that's just the pile there but it seems to splash everywhere up the walls up the bushes <sighs> yeah so just having a thorough rinse down all over the cars um yeah so that the clear up's taking ages anyway i'm about where i want to be so tomorrow i'll treat that bit that bit and that bit then i'll have to move the scaff tower over to get this bit um yeah and then i'll make a start around that side it's four o'clock now i'm losing light it's going to be dark in what half an hour three quarters of an hour so uh, i'm just going to call it a day now i'll see you in the morning Mwah. right um so that's all clean i think i said this yesterday didn't i uh i just need to get this treated now it won't take long and then i'm going to dismantle my scaffold get it up on that roof there um and crack on with that other side cool look at that growing out of that down pipe over there we'll have to get that out right let's do this okay so i'm just going to point something out I don't, well, those of you watching watch me on a regular basis will know, <clears throat> excuse me, got beard hair in my mouth, <laughs> need to trim, uh, will know that I basically, that I don't really use a gutter vac, I know a lot of guys that do the roof cleaning use a gutter vac at the end, I'd rather just wash it out, rinse it out while I'm working, um, and so I don't have to deal with the vac at the end of the job, I hate, I hate gutter vacs, anyway. Um, problem is here, as you can see, there's loads in the gutters, that, well not loads, there's, there's a fair amount, but um, normally what I would do, because the downpipes are crap on this, there should be more downpipes but there isn't, um, 
so what I'd normally do is disconnect just take one of these corners off one of the uh, maybe remove a section from the middle and just let it all drop on the floor but these um, these gutters are really old um, and they are brittle as they come so um, I've tried to um, disconnect them and they're stiff and I, I, I know if I'd have pushed it they'd, they'd have cracked, I'd have cracked the brackets and these are those annoying ones that are hard to get spares for can you see the profile there just there sort of like a, a bunny sort of shape I can't remember what they're called because I don't do gutter cleaning I stopped doing that a few years back because I absolutely detest it um, so yeah um, what are they called I uh, can't remember if any of you know what that's called leave a comment leave a comment below but um, yeah I know that these are not your standard it's not like you could just go to B&Q or a tool station or screw fix and buy these these have to be ordered in so there's no way I'm disconnecting these and, and risk snapping any of them so I have no choice but at the end of this job to gutter back kill me now I know some of you are watching going, what's he on about? Why does why it bother him so much? I get it, I get that. But I just absolutely detest it. I actually feel proper anger while I'm using a gutter back. So, <laughs> I know it's stupid, but it's just the way it is for me. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd point that out. I'm not leaving this stuff in. It will be gutter back out at the end. And I won't be a happy chap at the time, so I probably won't record that. Anyway, let's get this soft washed. That has come up a lot of So, as you can see, there's little fluffy white bits left behind. That's the moss. Um, uh, the reason, obviously, they're on... Well, the reason they're on there is because I could get the moss if I turned the angle of my uh, uh, nozzle up towards the roof, but then that risks water ingress. So much better just to leave them be attack them with some chemical they'll die off well they are dead you can see they're white so you can see they're completely dead now they're white what will happen now is they'll just shrivel up over time blow away roll off into the gutters tiny little amounts they're not going to block the gutters up or anything they'll just get washed down the downpipe tiny tiny little bits and yeah no black spot, that's all gone. Looking good. Right, so that's the treatment taken care of of all the bits that have been cleaned. Start on the final side now. Just cleared out that gutter. And um, you can see, look at this. Cool. it's like a like a bit of turf and this is the actual gooseneck so there's the top and that was hanging out the bottom 
so that's <laughs> it looks like a bit of cloth but it's, it's actually a root system which would imply that the downpipe is completely full um, yeah and you can see the moss there would imply there is constant water there or moisture I can't really tell by wobbling it but yeah I'm pretty sure actually no it feels pretty light but anyway so anyway there's the uh, the gutters disconnected so I've got my scaffold tower up this roof didn't actually look too bad from the boat but actually it's covered in moss anyway should have this done today tree it tomorrow clear up and we'll be done let's make a start
Good morning. Last day today, and the heavens have opened. It's dull, it's dreary, it's wet, it's cold as well. About four degrees, my uh, temperature stayed in my van. Right, so I managed to get the roof cleaned and treated, so that is the roof done. So uh, at least I'm not doing that in the wet today. So it's just a case of clearing up. Um, so there you go, there's my gutter vac. You'll know that I don't use this a lot because I just hate them. I absolutely hate gutter vacs. <laughs> it's like this weird irrational thing I've got. I know a lot of you like them, so I'm not having a dig at you. I'm just, it's just my own personal thing. I just don't like them. Anyway, so um, as I explained, I think yesterday or the day before, I can't remember, uh, these gutters are so brittle and oh, they're just, they're not in good condition. Um, I couldn't unclip them, which I'd normally do a little, just all the, um, all the slop run out onto the floor and I'd clean it up later. But for this, I couldn't do that. So I'm, uh, I've left it all in there. Well, quite a lot of it anyway. So um, I've got to, I've got to gutter back that out now. Um, so I've just got to, just tidying up today um nice uh, nice easy well take easy it's not easy because it's bloody raining and it's cold but um easier day so no stress just clearing up getting it done i'll probably be done by one o'clock nice half day um yeah let's just stop going on about it and get on with it changed my clothes because I'm absolutely soaked through from the rain. I stopped raining now but I mean it's spitting slightly but not enough to soak me. That's the back. Nice. That's quite a good shot. And that'll get better over time because the little bit of uh, white light and they're left behind they're now dead they will wear off over time right guys thank you for watching as usual and i shall see you on the next one mm -hmm.